This was not the type of weather that George Davis would have wanted Saturday. The Cushing Field Complex in Lowell, the George Davis Invitational Track and Field Meet, cold and wet, some wind, rained for much of the day, and temperatures were no better than the 40s. Despite all of that, a good showing for the UMass Lowell Riverhawks track and field teams, men and women both. The bottom line, 12 titles, 7 for the women, 5 for the men, in an event that featured schools and athletes from Divisions 2 and 3, as well as several athletes representing postgraduate track and field clubs from the region. The weather conditions slowed the times, but not the intensity of the competition. I don't think it affects the competition as far as head-to-head -head competition, but certainly the quality of performances are affected significantly with the wind and the rain and the general cold that you have out there. And, and the way our facility is set up, you don't have a lot of indoor shelter, you know, to hide and warm up. That is UMass Lowell head track coach Gary Gardner, and he was quick to say that at the very least on Saturday, it was was about the competition. We did have some kids that competed really well. Corey Murray in the shot put had a great day. He's a spin shot putter too, so it's tough to spin when the circle's that wet. Rex Radloff ran really well under those conditions, and we actually were going to sit out one of our guys, and he volunteered to rabbit him through the mile. You know, some of our women, Christina DeLomba, actually ran really well. I think we had seven women that won events. So you, you got to be pleased with the way they competed. You know, they ran well just because they beat good people. The weather also forced Gardner to hold several sprinters out of the competition in hopes of avoiding injury. And it was more of a, of a risk factor than, than anything else. And those guys in their career haven't been particularly healthy guys anyway. You know, their bodies probably aren't built quite for what, what they're doing. Where a kid like Dante Brown, who's probably as good as those guys we did run because he has a history of staying healthy, so we weren't quite as worried about him, you know, pulling a hamstring or, or tweaking one where the other guys have either pulled or tore hamstrings in their time here. And we just rather err on the side of caution. And Dante Brown, mentioned by the coach, would be among the five men to grab first. He won the 400 meter dash with a time of 49.28. The main highlight on the men's side may have been the performance of sophomore shot putter Corey Murray. He won the event with a toss of 51 feet, four and a half inches. That was a new meet record and nearly nine feet better than the rest of the field. Also grabbing the spotlight was William DeGuidjoy. He won the triple jump of the distance of 43 feet. He also placed second in the long jump. Senior Rex Radloff won the two mile run with a time of 9.12.30 and sophomore Matt Blazon won the 400-meter hurdles in 56.92. On the women's side, there were a couple of double winners. Sophomore Lauren Raimondi and junior Prisna Deriscat each won two events. Raimondi won both the 100-meter hurdles with a time of 15.11 seconds and won the high jump, clearing the bar at 5.3 and a quarter. Deriscat won the 100-meter dash in a time of 12.76 seconds and was part of the Riverhawks winning 4 by 100 meter relay team. Freshman Nicole Giaquinto won the 200-meter dash with a time of 26.13. Another freshman, Dana Jamison, won the 400 in a time of 61.32. Junior Jackie Barrett won her second shot put title in as many weeks. She outdistanced the field with a toss of 45 feet, 2 and a half inches, nearly 7 feet ahead of the rest of the field. All in all, a good performance on a bad weather day. Obviously, it means a lot more to us probably than the other teams that are coming in here just because it it is our home meet and it's in front of the home crowd and you know our kids want to compete well historically the program doesn't have home meets i mean we've only had the track for seven years we don't have an indoor track we don't have a cross-country course on campus so it means a lot to these kids to be at home and compete well at home next up for the river hawks this coming weekend the larry ellis invitational in Princeton. We're hoping for, you know, eight to ten national performances, you know, qualifying performances on Friday and Saturday of this week. And, you know, and then we know that that's just one step along the way. And, you know, hopefully this year is, is one of the years that we do host the Northeast Tens here on May 2nd. So hopefully when that comes around, we got much better weather and we can put some more quality performances on the track rather than just kind of head-to-head -head performances in front of the home crowd.